in 2017 paper one and they're asked to carry out a differentiation question and the first one is differentiation and first principles so once we see first principles we know we're going to be using this formula here the limit is h approaches zero of f x plus h minus f of x over h now in that formula we already have f of x f of x is a third of x squared minus x plus 3. In order to find out fx of plus h, all you've got to do is sub in x plus h instead of x. If you tidy that up a wee bit, what you get is I do that bracket twice if you like, x plus h times x plus h. Don't be making any silly mistakes there or Square the first, multiply the two together, xh and double it, square the last, minus x minus h plus 3. Now, when you're going to do the taking away part, there's always going to be the cancellation of your fx terms. Although it's not, a, not too obvious here at the minute, when that's over 3, that's the same as x squared over 3. Each of these individual terms divided by 3 plus h squared over 3 minus h minus a and now carry out your subtraction minus all of these terms here so minus x squared over 3 minus minus x is plus x minus plus 3 is minus 3 and as you can see they go Now what you've got left is your 2xh over 3, your h squared over 3, and your minus h. So the next step is to divide by h. So divide each of these terms by h. If you divide that by h, you get 2x over 3. Divide that by h, you get h over 3, minus 1. Um, and that's it. And the final thing sub in 0 for h so the limit is h goes to 0 of all that so that has no effect 2x over 3 this disappears minus 1 now you can always check your answer we know from differentiation all you've got to do is multiply down to the power so 2 multiplied by a third is 2 thirds which we have there just the power by 1, which is x. Minus x becomes 1. We're right. Now, the second part of that question. We're looking at logs. So ln. Now ln just means log to the bc. So when you see ln, that's the same as log to the bc. And g of x, so that, find the value of the derivative f g x. Now before we find the value of the derivative of fgx, we must find fgx. This is a composite function. So all you've got to do is kind of work back. Put g of x in in place for f. So f g of x. So put g of x, i.e. x plus 5, n instead of x there. So ln 3 times x plus 5 squared plus 2. So all I did, everywhere I've seen the x, I've got an x plus 5. Tidy that up. Multiply the 2 together, double it, square the last. Now we haven't differentiated yet, all we've got is fgx. And take the time and do that right. Find the value of the derivative of this now. So in order to differentiate log functions, you're going to have to go, you know, if we are differentiating log functions, 1 over x, or 1 over the function. So 1 over f of x times the derivative of your f dash x. 
put it right that down. Um, so here our function is this. So 1 over 3x squared plus 30x plus 77 times the derivative of the function 6x plus 30. Now when you're tidying that up, you know it's a fraction multiplied by a fraction, so it's top by top, bottom by bottom, just squeeze them both together. And when you do that, it's 6x plus 30. And the final step at x is equal to a quarter. I'll give your answer in three decimal places. So about a quarter. You can simply lob that into your calculator. And that will give you the slope of the tangent at that point. Zero point three seven two.